I did it in one of my um when I was, you know, when I go around and do all the stories from every city and shit. And then a few days later, everyone started talking about it and people made a lot of money. Kanika Jenkins, I it says her family's going to make them get 10 million off of this. Kanika Jenkins probably made YouTubers 10 million. I wouldn't be surprised if Kanika Jenkins made YouTubers 10 million. Press one if you're familiar with the Kanika Jenkins wave on YouTube. It's whole channels. It's kind of like Dion, man, where whole channels was made off of Kanika Jenkins, man. Okay, Kanika Jenkins. She walked into a freezer. She got she got drunk and walked into a freezer, and they blamed her. And instead of blaming her friends and the niggas at the party, they had like a hood party at a Chicago hotel. And she got drunk and walked into, got lost in the, um, she got lost in the, um, underbelly of the, um, of the hotel and walked into a freezer and the door shut on her, I guess. Well, she shut the door and then she froze to death and they got footage of her making the journey all the way through. She's obviously drunk. It was just a terrible accident, man. Terrible accident. They turned it into a conspiracy, man, and people made channels off of it. And people have been making videos every day for five years off of that shit. Her mama became a celebrity, her sister, a hood celebrity. The little young black guy who ran for um the little young black guy who ran for um mayor of Chicago this year, the little young dark skinned black guy. I forgot his name. He, he he that was his beginning. That's where he he um he got his start with the Kanika Jenkins case. Protesting the hotel. Them, neg- them Negroes was protesting the hotel like the hotel was a person. They were literally protesting the hotel like the hotel was an animate object. Them niggas crazy, man. Um Yeah, Miss Verena, remember that? No, nah, I don't buy any no fucking conspiracy theory on that shit, man. It was just an accident. She walked into the hotel. I knew her from the jump. It was just an unfortunate accident. I feel bad for her, man. What a way to go out. To like, because I know at some point she came to and was like, yo, what the fuck am I doing in this freezer? And she probably yelled and screamed and nobody heard her and she died in the freezer. Either suffocated or she either um froze to death. A horrible death. I thought it was some nigga shit from day one, man. It was some nigga shit. It was a money grab for everybody because her videos are making so much, so many people money. It didn't do anybody else any good to put a bow on it. If it if, if you're making videos about Kanika Jenkins every day and you're making a YouTube check of thousands of whatever it is, even if you're making $500 a month on YouTube, if you're making more than $1 off of YouTube, some people are making tens of thousands of dollars a month talking about this stuff. If you're making that type of money, it doesn't make any sense to be like, oh, yeah, she just actually walked in there, nothing to see. It makes sense to drag it out and drag it out and analyze every little thing and then then, then, then. (laughs) yeah i'm just mad i was i broke the story i was the first one to do a story on it and i made a couple bucks off of it but back then my channel um i would i would have made more but back then my channel wasn't um monetized they they kind of like was fucked with that's when that's back in the day when i was 
Lord, man. That's back in the YouTube days when I was getting fucked with hard. So I didn't get to eat off of it like everybody else did. Um, salute to uh, salute to Nate Ways, man. A member for six months. That's huge, man. We should have. We should have a. I don't know how many members we got. I know we got a lot, man. We got more than we did last week. We got more members than we had last week, man. I know that much. But that's good. Um, oh. Don't look any further. Hit that like button. Smash it, man. Shout out to Kanika Jenkins, man. R.I.P. She made a bunch of people rich off of YouTube. I'm glad her family's getting 10 million. They're getting 10 million. Salute to them. They're getting 10 million. I'm not mad at the family. It took six years to get 10 million. They probably taking out all type of loans on that money. They probably be taking all type of loans out on that money. I wonder how many loans they took out. Shout out to Kanika, though, man. <clears throat> R.I.P. to Kanika, man. I ain't even going to bullshit you, man. R.I.P. to that girl. That was a terrible, terrible, terrible way she went out. So unfortunate, man. So unlucky, man. Let's see what some of the sons, 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 son. Let's see what son is standing is saying about Kanika, man. Kanika. <laughs> Let's see what Sonny Stan is saying about Kanika Jenkins, man. Let's see what Sonny Stan is saying about Kanika Jenkins, man. Kanika. I don't want nobody think I got no beef with Kanika, man. I love Kanika, man. It's terrible what happened to her. Uh oh. Let's see. Let's see this biracial chick that was raised by her white mother. Let's see what she got to say, man. Uh, the family of 19 year old Kanika Jenkins was awarded more than $6 million at a wrongful death settlement relating to the teenager's death in 2017. If y'all remember, Kanika died after she allegedly wandered inside a hotel's kitchen freezer. An autopsy later determined the cause of her death was, in fact, hypothermia. What are your thoughts on this settlement? And I'm glad to hear there's some kind of closure because I felt like this was one of those cases that just kind of went away, was off our radar. Uh, Funky, what do you think? Um, as with anything, I'm glad the family is getting some closure. I'm pretty sure Al is going to let us know if this settlement is fair or not. You know, I don't know what the, the, the going rate is for loss of life. Uh, at this point, so I can't even sit here and be like, you know, oh, $6.4 million is a good number because it'll never bring this young lady back. But I guess, you know, missing your loved one in, in, in comfort and being set up for life, I guess is the only consolation that this family does have in this situation. It's unfortunate, but I am glad that they did get some closure. And I am hoping, I know that they said the family's getting $6.4 after lawyer fees and all this type of stuff, I'm hoping sh the family's not getting 6.4 and the lawyer's walking off with 4.4. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. All right, Al, what are your thoughts? The fuck did he just, fuck did that dude just, what is he talking about? Um, I don't think it's enough. I think that this was a young girl. She's 19, right? And if you do her life expectancy, she's expected to live at least until into her 70s. Which not in Chicago. Not not being a Chicago chick that going to hood parties at hotels. No, not in Chicago. There were there were there were at least a hundred people at that party that night. I'm sure at least. I'm sure there's a I would I don't know how many of them are dead. 
I don't know how many of those people that actually went to that party five, six years ago are dead, but I'm sure some of them are. There's no guarantee of life. There's no guarantee to live 70 years in Chicago as a young black woman. I don't think it's enough. I think that this was a young girl. She's 19, right? And if you do her life expectancy, she's expected to live at least until into her 70s, which means she has earning income over, you know, 50 years. Uh, I think that is it Crown Plaza. What was the name of the hotel? I'm not Crown sure. Plaza. Mm -hmm. Crown Plaza got away with this one. Uh, you know, I'm with Q on the fact that I feel like, you know, at least the family gets closure. But she deserved that family deserves her body, her life deserves more respect than six million dollars. It's like they got financial closure, but not really like we don't really know what happened to this girl. Right. It's still. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. We do know what happened to that girl. Yes, we do.